Hello, I'm Wayne with Modular Hydro. Today we're going to talk about our ebb and flood systems and how to change the reservoir. We're actually going to do a demonstration and show you how simple all of our ebb and flood systems are as far as changing out the reservoir on a weekly or, or bi-weekly basis. But first I want to talk a little bit about what we have here. This is the EcoFlow Cube. This is one of our smallest ebb and flood systems. Very small, very compact. And this is a system that's been growing for about a month and a half. We have lemon basil off to the right, and we have sweet basil off to the left. We went ahead and we just left the basil start to flower just to show you how this system grows. It grows quite quickly. Um, it's very economical. It's basically a no-brainer type system. It's an ebbed flood, meaning the water from the reservoir travels to the top tray, or the, we call it cube, the top cube, the system shuts off automatically, it's fully automated, and then it drains back into the reservoir. What we're going to do is show you how to change the reservoir without removing the top section. So in other words, you're not disturbing your plants in any way, shape, or form. I've already pre-mixed my water, and I started out with a good quality distilled water, which has no, no dissolved solids in it. Um, you can use whatever water you want. You just want to make sure you use good quality water that, that doesn't have a lot of contaminants in it. We're going to go ahead and spin the system around and show you the kind of the nuts and bolts of how this system works. This is kind of unique. All of our ebb and flood systems are designed so that you can simply pop off the top tube like this, take your drain kit, just simply plug it in like this, run your hose into another container, which you can carry outside, by the way. Don't waste your nutrients. Don't throw them down the sink. Take them outside and feed one of your plants with them. We're going to go ahead and plug in the system. And what it's going to do is it's automatically going to go ahead and pump the water from the reservoir. And all of our systems are self-contained. Everything is inside. The only thing external is your fill tube, which now we're using as a drain tube. So we're going to go ahead and drain this into the system and then we'll be back in about 30 seconds after it's drained. Now that we've drained the system, we're going to go ahead and disconnect our drain. And we're going to, just so I can pull this in a little bit closer and then I'll reconnect up. You can see the reservoir is pretty much empty, but what we're going to do is flush the system a little bit. And you don't have to do this, I just choose to do this. So what I'm going to do is just pour a little bit of fresh water in here. That'll remove any contaminants or any, any built up salts in my flood tray. So I'm going to flush that a little bit with some water. Go ahead and reconnect up my drain tube. Turn my pump back on. Drain that little bit of remaining water in the reservoir, which will only take about maybe 10 seconds or so. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect again, turn off my pump, reconnect my fill tube, and that's all there is to it. What's unique about these systems is you cannot, you can drain your reservoir quite quickly without having to go through a lot of work and a lot of effort, but even more importantly, the way this system is designed, you don't have leaks. You don't have drips. That seems to be a problem in the uh, hydroponic industry. You have a lot of leaks or drips from time to time. Our systems just don't leak. They don't drip. Now that we've drained the entire reservoir, I've already pre-mixed my solution. And I can't stress enough to start with good quality water. If you can, try and use a TDS meter. That's a total dissolved solids. What that does is that'll check and make sure you have the, the correct nutrient mix in your water. Once you have the correct nutrient mix, then you want to check your pH using a pH test kit, adjust your water up or down, using pH up or a pH down. Once you do that, you're ready to go ahead and fill your system. Make sure you shake it up completely and just go ahead and add your water and your nutrients back into your system. So the amount of time that it's taken to show you this whole process has been maybe four or five minutes. So literally the entire job from start to finish to change this reservoir without going through a lot of work, and you don't even have to move your system. If it's under grow lights, it can stay there. You just go ahead and connect up your drain line, go ahead and flush your system, drain it, 
fill it back with your nutrients, and not even move the system. So this is all there is to it. Now one more pour, and my system is completely, completely done. I'm finished. How simple is that? All of our ebb and flood systems work in this manner. You can drain them without removing the tray from the reservoir. The only time I completely break the system down and totally clean it, break all the parts apart, and totally clean it and wash it, is when I'm done with my, my grow cycle. In between changing, you don't need to do that. And that's one thing unique about all of our ebb and flood systems. And by the way, go to modularhydro.com and check these systems out. They vary in different sizes, but they all work with the same technology. They're all this easy to maintain. Again, I'm Wayne, and thank you, Modular Hydro.